Garden. Field and Rural Life magazine here at the New Forest Show with a Countryside Educational Trust. Yeah. Now these two young ladies are going to explain to us what it's all about. Good morning, right. how are we? Good, thank Good. you. Now, just to explain to us uh, again, I know we've had a little bit of a brief chat and it's been very, very fascinating. Just to explain a little bit uh, about what the Trust is all about. Okay. Well, basically, the main focus of the Trust is about connecting children with the countryside. Right. It's not only about children, though. We um, have offer all sorts of things for adults as well as children. Yeah. Children come to us on a, for a residential visit at our centre in Bewley in the New Forest. Right. And they come for day visits and then we offer a wide community program for adults as well. Oh. Adults can learn things like bushcraft and survival skills at our tree house at Hartford Wood. Yeah. And uh, we also have a farm site. Children come and learn all about the animals on the farm. How many animals are we currently have? Uh, well, how many animals do we have, Sharon? Oh, I say we have a variety from pigs, cows, sheep, geese, turkeys. We've got some of our young turkeys with us today. Oh. Um, and a lot of our meat is produced on the farm, which goes to the residential centre. The vegetables are grown in the gardens, which we use in the residential centre too. So, 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 so yeah, so it really is when the children and, and adults, when they arrive, it really is a hands on, they're not, you know, it, it, it is all there in front of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how many visitors do you have a year? Oh, thousands. Yeah, yeah it, <laughs> it, it, it is it literally because, that, that yeah, popular. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Yeah, we're booked up all through the year with um, school groups coming throughout, you know, from January through to December. Yeah. Um, and day visits as well during term time. So, literally thousands of people through. So, who, who were the founders? Founders were Lord Montague, yes. and in conjunction with Jack Hargreaves, who is a local broadcaster. Out of town, Out everybody of town, remembers exactly. that fantastic and that's where program. The name comes from. Our residential centre is called the Out of Town Centre. Oh, that's nice. Now, Jack set it, set it up originally to bring inner city children into the countryside. Yes. Yeah. So uh, that's what his aim was. He got together with Lord Montague and they set up the Out of Town Centre. So and that what, has evolved over the years. Yeah, so if my memory serves me right, right, Jack's been around a long time and I. Maybe well, well gone. Maybe oh, I, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, so, 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 his legacy. Yeah, so <laughs> it's fantastic, isn't it? It's yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. I can I can remember a story of going back many, many, many years ago. We were um, we were in Ibberton and uh, gentleman walking along the road with a dog, and it's sort of that's a familiar face. And then spent nearly half a half an hour, three quarters of an hour, sat on the side of the road talking to him. Yeah. Fascinating guy. Fasc yeah, fascinating guy. Yeah. Well. It's, it's been a pleasure meeting you. I hope all goes well, and, and I do think that there's a possibility that we'll be getting some editorial from you for the forthcoming magazine. Absolutely. So we really do look forward to that. So uh, look, look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.